Good afternoon, and welcome to Brookville Park, where it's time for Rosedale Jets football. I'm Clyde Dowdy Jr. in the booth. Today, the Brentwood Blackhawks take on the Rosedale Jets in a senior division contest from Brookville Park in Rosedale, Queens, on Youth Sports Network, your leader in youth sports coverage. Blackhawks kick the ball off to the Jets, and we're underway here at Brookville Park. The opening kickoff is taken on the right side, and he's brought down immediately. That'd be Jets have the possession. First play. They run off tackle for a few yards. Jets on the move. Counter play to the left side again. No gain. Third down, Jets. That play went nowhere. A little flare out to the wing, immediately covered by the Blackhawks. Fourth down, the Jets will punt away to the Blackhawks. Nice punt. It's around the outside. He tries to take it up the sideline, and he's taken out on the sideline along with a few coaches who got in the way. Play to the right side, immediately snuffed out by the Jets. No game. Blackhawks is on the move. Once again, they try the right side on a little sweep, and that's play is run out of bounds. Third down, Blackhawks. Sweep to the left. Sweep to the left. Once again, no gain as the Jets defense really stiffened. Fourth down. Right up the middle, taking it to the left side. Nice run. Brought down by his jersey. Little counter play to the left. Minimal gain. Third down, Jets. Play looked like it started to the outside. It was shut off. Tried to bring it back up inside. Fourth down, Jets. Power move right up the middle. Nice blocking. Off tackle on the left side. First down, Jets. Once again, they try the left side. No gain. Blackhawks stiffen up on that play. And shut that play down as soon as it got started. Second down, Jets football. Quarterback, options out to his left side. A few moves. It looked like an option play that really was snuffed out by the Blackhawks. Third down, Jets. Tries the right side. Touchdown, Jets. But I do see a flag on the play. 
We're waiting for the officials. Yes, it's coming back. No touchdown. Jets on the move again. Off to the left side. Nice piece of running, nice hold. Second down. The option. Quarterback gets it out to the running back. Touchdown, Jets. Take a look at it again. The fake up the middle. Quarterback gets out to his right side. Gets the ball out. Draws in the defense. Gets the ball out to the running back who powers into the end zone for a touchdown. Try an extra point conversion. Snap. Fake. Toss. You get in. Yes. Extra point conversion is successful. The Jets take a 7 0 lead. This is YSN Football. We'll be right back. YSN, the world leader in youth sports coverage. Hi, I'm Clyde Dowdy Jr. and we're back here at Brookville Field for Jets football. The Jets have just scored and converted their extra point and they take a 7-0 lead. Kickoff is drilled at a Blackhawks player and bounced off him. Let's see who recovers the loose ball. It's Blackhawks football. So the Blackhawks will take over first and 10. On their 46 yard line, 45 yard line. They're gonna try to get back into this contest. And that's the end of the first quarter with the score. Jet seven, Blackhawks nothing. This is why I said football. kids active and healthy. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. Be part of the first class. Get outside and get moving. Experience the power of physical activity. Join the movement at actionheroalliance.com. Openvisionnetworks.com International Television Watch Mobile TV Watch Documentaries Action movies. Kung Fu movies. OpenVisionNetworks.com. Download the app today. It's a free download. In case you missed this presentation of YSN, you can now get all your favorite games online at the Open Vision Network Channel 8. Just log on to www.openvisionnetwork.com and you can watch any game at any time. U Sports Network, the world leader in U Sports Television. The U Sports Network presents Game of the Week Night live webcast from the U Sports Network Broadcast Center located in Queens, New York. Join us for a live webcast. You can check out the live webcast on the YSN website. Just go to www.usportsnetworktv.com and click on the live webcast tab on the home page. We hope that you'll join us and we thank you in advance for your support. Enjoy the games and keep watching the U Sports Network, the worldwide leader in U Sports coverage. YSN continues to bring you the best in youth sports coverage, but we need your help. We are looking for donations to help the Youth Sports Network reach its goal of becoming the first 24-7 broadcast and cable network dedicated to youth sports. You can help the Youth Sports Network by donating to the GoFundMe campaign. You can reach the Youth Sports Network GoFundMe page from our website at www. 
YouthSportsNetworkTV.com or go directly to our campaign page at www.gofundme.com forward slash YouthSportsNetworkTV. Your donation dollars will allow us to hire professional instructors for the YSN Outreach Training Program, create jobs and experience for up-and-coming directors, producers, broadcast and production technicians. Help us reach our goal so we may bring you more fresh quality content 24-7. We would like to thank you in advance and keep watching the Youth Sports Network, the worldwide leader in youth sports coverage. YSN Football presents Rosedale Jets Football. Here from Brookville Park at the beginning of the second quarter, Jets have a 7-0 lead over the Brentwood Blackhawks. First down, and a high snap, deep toss, complete crossing pattern to the wide receiver. He came from his left, crossing the field to the right side of the field. Ball was laid out perfectly. He had to stop a little bit. If he had to let him a little further, he would have probably had more room to run, but he did make the completion. He adjusted during the route. Nice job. Quarterback in the shotgun. The snap. A little wobbly. A little fake to the inside receiver. And the quarterback takes off around the left side for about five-yard gain. Second down. Under center. The snap. Handoff. And running back is caught down on the right side. About a three-yard gain. Third down. Flag on the play. Offsides against the Rosedale Jets, so the Blackhawks will be afforded five additional yards to make their plight a little simpler as they move down the field. A running play snuffed out by the Jets. It was off to the left side. The running back tried to make adjustments and come back towards the middle, but it, the Jets weren't having none of that. Little sweep to the left, and that's snuffed out by the Jets. Now, the Jets have taken over on downs. And the first play after the, they gain possession is a nice run by the running back. Let's see that again. Little hand off to the right. Nice cutback here. As he cuts back across the grain, takes it up the left side, does a nice job of moving the football away from the defender and is dragged down by the defender after a nice run. Nice play. Jets on the move. Quarterbacks under center. Snap. Power run up the middle. Minimal gain. Fumble! Picked up by the Jets. Lucky to have recovered that ball because it was laid right out in front of the defense and it rolled back to the quarterback. Sweep to the right. Quarterback got in there and provided the lead block, and the running back got right up behind him. It's a great day here at Brookville Park. Weather is ideal. Competition is stiff. Another running play snuffed out. Quarterback keeper, and he doesn't get much. The Jets were not fooled on that play. The quarterback tried to fake up the middle and try to take it around the right side. No gain. Matter of fact, he lost a few. Drop back. Incomplete as it's knocked down by the Jets.
defender. Nice play. Quarterback threw that off his back leg and didn't have much on the pass. If he had, was able to get it a little higher, it looks like he would have had a completion. But it was a good play by the defensive back closing in on the play. Jets are reading the offensive line pretty well here. Fourth down. Blackhawks in punt formation. Punt is off. Fielded about the 40. Up the middle, cut back to the left. A nice comeback as he outran the defense. And nice show of sportsmanship as the players pick each other up and get back out to do battle. The Jets have a 7-0 lead here in the second quarter. The snap, looks like an option play. Quarterback gets it out to the running back, is able to elude a tackler, drags a couple of defenders down the field for a nice game. That was a nice toss by the quarterback as he's able to elude the tackle and get the ball out. Barely got the ball out to the running back and made a nice catch. Second down, fake in the middle, a long, deep throw. Touchdown, Rosedale Jets. A nice play by both the wide receiver and the quarterback as they hook up on a 50-yard toss. The quarterback, let's take a look here. The quarterback gets the ball, fakes up into the middle, fakes a pitch, winds up and throws a deep pass, beating defensive back. A nice adjustment to the ball by the wide receiver. Rosedale's back on the board again. Extra point conversion. Try to go up 14 nothing here in the second quarter. Snap is up. It's no good. So here in the second quarter, the Rosedale Jets 13, the Bombers nothing. This is YSN Football. We'll be right back. This is YSN, the world leader in youth sports coverage. This is Clyde Dowdy Jr. on Youth Sports Network, the leader in youth sports coverage. The Jets kicked the ball away to the Blackhawks. And there's a flag on the play because the ball rolled out of bounds before the goal line. So the Blackhawks will get the ball on the 40-yard line. Nope. Youth Sport next where they do it again. Only in pros today. Mark the ball to 48. Kick it again. Down the middle of the field. Unbelievable. I'm about to call him down. He got through there and took it to the house. Let's watch this again. It's a nice run back. It looked like the tackler was down and he got through there. In the middle, play seems like it came to a stop. And everybody kind of like, he tr showed tremendous balance as he used one of his hands to balance himself, got through the pile and took it to the house to the dismay of a lot of people on the Jets sideline. Blackhawks are going to get back into this game. 13-6 here in the second quarter. Uh-oh, there's a flag on the play, so they're going to have to wipe that off the board. So that effort goes for not. So they bring the ball back. The score remains 13-0. After a series of crazy plays, they line up in the eye, straight up the middle to the eye back, running back for about three. That was some play there. Although it was called back, that running back really showed a lot of moxie in getting through there. Oh, 
Very high snap on the shotgun. Quarterback rolls to his right. Tosses. It's complete. Nine yard gain. And that ends the first half with the Rosedale Jets taking a commanding 13 nothing lead. This is YSN Football. We'll be right back. Bring out the action hero in you. Be part of the greatest action movie ever. Show us how you train and eat like an action hero. Join in at actionheroalliance.com. OpenVisionNetworks.com International Television. Watch Mobile TV. Watch Documentaries. Action Movies. Kung Fu Movies. OpenVisionNetworks.com. Download the app today. It's a free download. In case you missed this presentation of YSN, you can now get all your favorite games online at the Open Vision Network Channel 8. Just log on to www.openvisionnetwork.com and you can watch any game at any time. U Sports Network, the world leader in U Sports Television. The U Sports Network presents Game of the Week Night live webcast from the U Sports Network Broadcast Center located in Queens, New York. Join us for a live webcast. You can check out the live webcast on the YSN website. Just go to www.usportsnetworktv.com and click on the live webcast tab on the home page. We hope that you'll join us and we thank you in advance for your support. Enjoy the games and keep watching the U Sports Network, the worldwide leader in U Sports coverage. Finding ways to keep kids active and healthy. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. YSN continues to bring you the best in youth sports coverage, but we need your help. We are looking for donations to help the youth sports network reach its goal of becoming the first 24 7 broadcast and cable network dedicated to youth sports. You can help the youth sports network by donating to the GoFundMe campaign. You can reach the youth sports network GoFundMe page on my website at www.usportsnetworktv.com or go directly to our campaign page at www.gofundme.com forward slash usportsnetworktv Your donation dollars will allow us to hire professional instructors for the YSN Outreach Training Program, create jobs and experience for up-and-coming directors, producers, broadcast and production technicians. Help us reach our goal so we may bring you more fresh quality content 24-7. We would like to thank you in advance and keep watching the U Sports Network, the worldwide leader in U Sports coverage. Out of the mouth of babes came a request, and the request was simply, give us an opportunity to showcase the great many talents we have, and let us show you our athletic ability. And so came the birth of the U Sports Network. The U Sports Network is the nation's premier television network designed exclusively to feature the best young athletes from across the country. Youth between the ages of 7 and 14 will be this network's stars. This weekly broadcast will cover every aspect of sports entertainment from the local Sandlot leagues to major sports arena competitions throughout. The U Sports Network will cover such sporting events and leagues such as, but not limited to, the Nassau Suffolk Football League, the American Youth Football League, and the New York Youth Football League for all the great gridiron play-by-plays as seen in the NFL. on the basketball court on the hardwood and the blacktop with a host of basketball and streetball schoolyard tournaments your heart desires.
Get ready to join us as we travel around the country to visit, that's right, America's best pastime. We're going to go play some baseball. We're going to watch the AAU Baseball League and a host of other baseball tournaments around the country. It's time to bounce some balls off your head, your knees, and your ankles as we get ready to play soccer, y'all. We're going to join the United States Youth Soccer Federation and the New York State Youth Soccer Federation for some of the best soccer the country has to offer. Spring into action as we sweat around the track as we watch some of the best runners and long-distance champions take the field in the AAU track and field events. Get ready to grab a ticket and sit with us ringside as we check out some of the best boxers in the country. That's right, it's the AAU Golden Gloves Boxing Competition. Travel with us to some of the nation's leading high schools as we seek out the best step teams to date. That's right, it's step dancing, courtesy of the Youth Step League. Just when you thought it was all over, the U Sports Network brings you coverage of the hottest junior varsity action the country has to offer. The U Sports Network will be commentated by skilled radio, TV, and sports personalities like Olympic boxing champion Mark Breland, radio personality Tony Toon, Roberto Clemente Jr., Clyde Dowdy Jr., and former NBA All-Star Brian Stiff. The YSN will also disseminate positive messages to our youth that will encourage them to become positive citizens and to excel in school and stay away from peer pressure. YSN, the nation's first look at tomorrow's pro athletes and our community leaders. It's time to join forces, get energized, and fuel up right. Because starting today, every kid in America has a mission. Bring out the action hero in you. the greatest action movie ever. The first movie that puts you in the action. Show us how you train and eat like an action hero. Join in at actionheroalliance.com. The Youth Sports Network presents Game of the Week Night live webcast from the Youth Sports Network Broadcast Center located in Queens, New York. Join us for a live webcast. You can check out the live webcast on the YSN website. Just go to www.youthsportsnetworktv.com and click on the live webcast tab on the homepage. We hope that you'll join us and we thank you in advance for your support. Enjoy the games and keep watching the Youth Sports Network, the worldwide leader in youth sports coverage. YSN continues to bring you the best in youth sports coverage, but we need your help. We are looking for donations to help the Youth Sports Network reach its goal of becoming the first 24-7 broadcast and cable network dedicated to youth sports. You can help the Youth Sports Network by donating to the GoFundMe campaign. You can reach the Youth Sports Network GoFundMe page on my website at www.youthsportsnetworktv.com. Or go directly to our campaign page at www.gofundme.com forward slash youth sports network tv. Your donation dollars will allow us to hire professional instructors for the YSN outreach training program, create jobs and experience for up and coming directors, producers, broadcast, and production technicians. Help us reach our goal so we may bring you 
more fresh quality content 24-7. We would like to thank you in advance and keep watching the U Sports Network, the worldwide leader in U Sports coverage. This is YSN, the world leader in U Sports coverage. Welcome back to Brookville Park. Kickoff's underway as we begin the second half. Blackhawks now are trying to get back into the game. They had one call back on a terrific running play on a kickoff return that was called back because of a penalty. First and 10, there's a deep toss. The receiver gets behind all three Jet defenders and he is taken to the house. There looks like no, he's still running. It looks like no penalties on the play as the Jets are trying to figure out what happened on this play. A, a poor snap, but the quarterback was able to come, get, come down with it. And all the defenders were caught looking into the backfield. I think the snap had a little bit to do with it. It threw off a little bit of the timing by the defenders, but that's really no excuse. They should have got back there. Blackhawks get back into this contest. 13-6 with the extra point conversion on its way. The snap it's down. No good. As it's drilled right into the line. So we start off the second half. The Jets 13, Bombers 6. This is YSN football. YSN, the world leader in youth sports coverage. And we're back here as the Blackhawks kick the ball off to the Jets. A short kick. It's fielded by the up man. Gets around the left side. Makes a few moves. Takes it up to about the 40 yard line. 36, 36, yeah, close to the 40. A nice play off tackle on the right side. About an eight yard gain there. Second down. Jets on the move. They try to go straight up the gut. A little power running there. The running back is still going. Nice forward. Surge by that running back to gain a first down. Let's pick up about five yards. At the 50-yard line, first down, Jets football. A little sweep to the left. Second down. Little power run off to the left side. Pick up about two yards. Brings up a third down play. Third and five, we'll call it. Power run right up the middle. And he breaks it off to this left side. He's dragged out of bounds. First down, Jets on the move. First down, Jets. The call, the snap. Fumble. Another nice bounce there for the Jets. They got lucky that the ball bounced right back up into the arms of the running back who bobbled the snap from the uh, quarterback. Off the left side. That's shut down. Running back and the quarterback confer on something. They get it together. Let's see what the Jets can come up with now. Hands it right up to tw number 20, up the middle. Power running. 
runs over two, three, four tacklers, five tacklers, takes it all the way to the end zone. What a great display of athleticism by number 20. As he powered his way up into the middle, Blackhawks are hanging on to him, and he just busted through all of the tackles to score. What a struggle. I mean, that is what you call power running, great leg drive, determination, and he just wasn't going down until he crossed the goal line. Six more points for the Rosedale Jets. Extra conversion on its way. Kick. No good. 19-6, Rosedale Jets. This is YSN Football. We'll be right back. YSN, the world leader in youth sports coverage. We're back here on the Youth Sports Network. 19-6, Rosedale Jets over the Brentwood Blackhawks. Great coverage by the Jets, but the runner was able to elude a swarm of Jet tacklers. He brings it all the way up to their own 48-yard line. Nice, nifty run. A little counter play, going nowhere. Jets were all over that play. Second down, loss of one. Full backfield. Shotgun, little toss out to the flank, to the running back. Nice run. Followed his lead block up into the hole there after he was able to catch the pass. Pick up about eight yard line, eight, eight yards. Third and four. The quarterback in the shotgun again. High snap. There's a big rush by the Jets. He gets the pass away. Incomplete. He'll bring up fourth down. Blackhawks in punt formation. They get the ball off. The punt returner feels the ball and is running up the sideline uncontested, and he gets deep into Blackhawks territory. First and goal for the Jets. Another running play to that power back up the middle. Close. Looks like where they're going to mark it about the one yard line. Second and goal. <laughs> Jets try it again, and yes, their attempt is successful. Touchdown, Rosedale Jets. We're going to watch it right now. This is pure power football, ladies and gentlemen. Straight up the gut, man on man, helmet on helmet. They were successful. Extra point coming up. 25-6. Rosedale, is it? And they are successful. So, in the third quarter, the Rosedale Jets 26, Blackhawks 6. We'll be right back on YSN Football. This is YSN, the world leader in youth sports coverage. Welcome back to third quarter action. Rosedale Jets have a commanding 26-6 lead of the Brentwood Blackhawks. Kickoff is away. 
Little squib, it bounces. Field it. The race is to his left. And he's brought down That's about the 40 yard line. Kids, any, uh, educational information. The Bombers are going to take control of the ball and try to do something. And that concludes the third quarter of action here with the Rosedale Jets leading 26 to 6. This is U Sports Network. We'll be right back. Bring out the action hero in you. Fuel up right and get energized. Be part of the greatest action movie ever. The first movie that puts you in the action. Show us how you train and eat like an action hero. Join in at actionheroalliance.com. OpenVisionNetworks.com International Television Watch Mobile TV Watch Documentaries Action Movies Kung Fu Movies OpenVisionNetworks.com Download the app today It's a free Download In case you missed this presentation of YSN, you can now get all your favorite games online at the Open Vision Network Channel 8. Just log on to www.openvisionnetwork.com and you can watch any game at any time. U Sports Network, the world leader in U Sports Television. The U Sports Network presents Game of the Week Night live webcast from the U Sports Network Broadcast Center, located in Queens, New York. Join us for a live webcast. You can check out the live webcast on the YSN website. Just go to www.usportsnetworktv.com and click on the live webcast tab on the home page. We hope that you'll join us and we thank you in advance for your support. Enjoy the games and keep watching the U Sports Network, the worldwide leader in U Sports coverage. YSN continues to bring you the best in youth sports coverage, but we need your help. We are looking for donations to help the Youth Sports Network reach its goal of becoming the first 24-7 broadcast and cable network dedicated to youth sports. You can help the Youth Sports Network by donating to the GoFundMe campaign. You can reach the Youth Sports Network GoFundMe page from my website at www.youthsportsnetworktv.com. Or go directly to our campaign page at www.gofundme.com forward slash U Sports Network TV. Your donation dollars will allow us to hire professional instructors for the YSN Outreach Training Program, create jobs and experience for up and coming directors, producers, broadcast, and production technicians. Help us reach our goal so we may bring you more fresh quality content 24 7. We would like to thank you in advance and keep watching the U Sports Network the worldwide leader in youth sports coverage. Welcome back to Brookville Park for this Nassau Suffolk Football League contest. First play from scrimmage, a nice little nifty run, cut back across the grain, it started on the left and it's ended up on the right. It's forced out of bounds. Nice, speedy run by the, wire, the running back. Brent will come out on the left. takes the ball here on the left side. It was intended to go up the left side. Saw the defense conversion, he cuts back across the grain, turns it upfield, and it's run out of bounds by the Rosedale Jet defenders. <laughs> Running play off the left side. Short game, second down. Walking through the park and decided to stop. Try up the middle again. Nice hole this time opened up by the offensive line. That's First down, down, Blackhawks. They were just walking through the park and decided to. Friends of Grandma. Let's go. Quick handoff. 
Tough yardage. Gain about four or five yards on that play. Second down. A little end around. But minimal gain on that play as the Jets were able to penetrate the line and bring the running back down. Quarterback Please, keeper up. gets around the end. We got something special for you, cats. That was a fourth down play, oh, and the Jets man. take over on down. Jet football. Jets on the move. Do a sweep over the right, brought down a four yard gain. And those uh, that helped start it, the Jet is in the deepest, Madam President. We need everybody. Jets on the move. There's a fumble. Who recovered? Jets were able to recover their fumble. Third down. Second and five. Power sweep to the left. Nice hole. Bring the runner down. Let's see if it was enough for the first down. First down. Jets on the move. Power run gets about two yards. That gentleman right there. Send him over here to me. Please. Thank you. Goes back to pass, and he's caught in the backfield. Big loss on the play. Jets will kick this ball away. High snap fielded by the punter, and he punts the ball straight up in the air. Did it touch anybody? Let's see what the officials call. They wrestling for the ball right now. This is, it's Blackhawks football. They did recover the ball. Full house backfield. Quarterback under center. We don't know who we're playing with. We know who we're Frenchy! Little we'll run play to the left side of the line. Like I said, Doesn't I'd like get to thank the brother that fixed this podium. How much time we have, official? Quarterback in the shotgun. He's it downfield. Oh, what a grab by number seven as he crosses over the field, draped by the defender, but holds on to make a great catch. Once again, the snap was high. Quarterback was able to get underneath the snap, caught the ball, bounced into the end zone, covered by the defender, but it's a touchdown. I think that touchdown, though, though, marks the end of this contest as time has now run off the clock. The Jets were arguing whether he got into the end zone or not, but the official said, yes, he did. And they just marked the end of the contest. So the final score today here from Brookville Park is the Rosedale Jets 26, the Brentwood Blackhawks 12.
OpenVisionNetworks.com International Television Watch Mobile TV Watch Documentaries Action Movies Kung Fu Movies OpenVisionNetworks.com Download the app today. It's a free download. In case you missed this presentation of YSN, you can now get all your favorite games online at the Open Vision Network Channel 8. Just log on to www.openvisionnetwork.com and you can watch any game at any time. U Sports Network, the world leader in U Sports Television. The U Sports Network presents Game of the Week Night live webcast from the U Sports Network Broadcast Center located in Queens, New York. Join us for a live webcast. You can check out the live webcast on the YSN website. Just go to www.usportsnetworktv.com and click on the live webcast tab on the home page. We hope that you'll join us and we thank you in advance for your support. Enjoy the games and keep watching the U Sports Network, the worldwide leader in U Sports coverage. YSN continues to bring you the best in youth sports coverage, but we need your help. We are looking for donations to help the Youth Sports Network reach its goal of becoming the first 24-7 broadcast and cable network dedicated to youth sports. You can help the Youth Sports Network by donating to the GoFundMe campaign. You can reach the Youth Sports Network GoFundMe page from our website at www.youthsportsnetworktv.com. Or go directly to our campaign page at www.gofundme.com forward slash youth sports network tv. Your donation dollars will allow us to hire professional instructors for the YSN outreach training program, create jobs and experience for up and coming directors, producers, broadcast and production technicians. Help us reach our goal so we may bring you more fresh quality content 24 7. We would like to thank you in advance and keep watching the youth sports network the worldwide leader in youth sports coverage. This is Clyde Dowdy Jr. and I'm back here at Brookville Park. The final score is the Valley Stream Hornets 31, the Rosedale Jets 26. As the Hornets go to 9-0 in the season and hand the Rosedale Jets their first loss. It was a very exciting game. There was a lot of exciting plays here. A lot of long runs, a lot of nice passing, some good defensive stops. It was like who was going to have the ball last it was going to be able to uh, claim victory to this game and the Hornets were able to stop the Rosedale Jets on their last series of play and run out the clock. On behalf of the crew, Larry Serpis, myself Clyde Dowdy, we would like to thank you for joining us for another presentation of Youth Sports Network. YSN, 
the world leader in youth sports coverage. Finding ways to keep kids active and healthy. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. Be part of the first class. Get outside and get moving. Experience the power of physical activity. Join the movement at actionheroalliance.com. Openvisionnetworks.com. International television. Watch mobile TV. Watch. Documentaries, action movies, kung fu movies. OpenVisionNetworks.com. Download the app today. It's a free download. In case you missed this presentation of YSN, you can now get all your favorite games online at the Open Vision Network Channel 8. Just log on to www.openvisionnetwork.com and you can watch any game at any time. Youth Sports Network, the world leader in youth sports television. The Youth Sports Network presents Game of the Week Night live webcast from the Youth Sports Network Broadcast Center, located in Queens, New York. Join us for a live webcast. You can check out the live webcast on the YSN website. Just go to www.youthsportsnetworktv.com and click on the live webcast tab on the home page. We hope that you'll join us and we thank you in advance for your support. Enjoy the games and keep watching the Youth Sports Network, the worldwide leader in youth sports coverage. For more information about the U Sports Network, go to www.youthsportsnetworktv.com.